Assalamualaikum. My actual journey to Islam started when I began listening to the plain literal meaning of the Quran over headphones plugged into my ears on the way to and off my work. Before this, Islam was more of a cultural and save yourself from the hellfire kind of thing to me. Once in my way to office, just before I reached the building, I heard a Quranic ayat mentioning about heavy clouds. I immediately looked at the sky and thought like, what? Clouds? Heavy? How come? Then how they are floating above, high in the sky, so smoothly, without falling down? I got into office and did a Google search on the weight of clouds. And here's the story for you. We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we send blessing and salutation upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless his entire households, the companions and every single one of us. Ameen. The search results showed me that the smaller or little ones, known as the cumulus clouds, weighs around twice the weight of an elephant and scientists estimates that an average sized cumulus clouds are of 200 tons in weight. Now, coming to the big ones, which are known as the cumulonimbus clouds. These are around 10 times denser and 1000 times larger than the cumulus clouds, weighing about 1 million tons each. Think about that for a moment. This means that at any given moment, a cloud of the weight of 100 elephants might be floating above your head. References are given below. The Quran mentions as follows. And it is he who sends the winds as good tiding before his mercy until they have carried heavy rain clouds. We drive them to dead land and we send down rain therein and bring forth thereby some of all the fruits. Thus will we bring forth the death. Perhaps you may be reminded. Surah Al-A'raf Ayat 57 It is he who shows you lightning causing fear and aspiration and generates the heavy clouds. Surah al raat Ayat 12 I was like baffled. How can this be mentioned in the Quran in a time when people over there used to think that the entire world is a flat ground with huge pillars placed at somewhere far end of the lands over which the heaven is supported above us. This kind of information can only reach to us at that time by our creator who knew each and every single details of the entire existence from the very beginning of time. Thank you. What is your opinion? Let us know in the comment section below and if you like this video just hit to the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.